Hi guys, it's Angela with Kelly Mom Collects and today I have a, another box of jewelry to open for you guys. This is a Goodwill Blue Box and this is their five pound repurpose box and I believe that this one came from New Jersey. So I'm trying to find some pieces to resell in my eBay store. So let's get into this box and see what we have. Now, let's go ahead and pour it out and I'll show you guys pieces one by one. Okay, it's December video number two, which means we are going to be having another giveaway this video. And like I mentioned last time, the theme to this giveaway is going to be Brighton. And you're going to have to wait to the end of this video to find out what is going to be in the giveaway. So I'm going to go ahead and start. I first see this. It's a leather bracelet. Matt Benson? Hmm. Burnson? It looks like it says Matt Burnson. And it's a studded leather bracelet. The leather looks to be in good condition. So there's that. All right, looks like we've got some rose quartz here and it is three strands, three stretch strands tied by this little pink leather. Oh my goodness, it's making a mess. So I'll probably take this, whatever this is off because it's getting everywhere. But the chunky rose quartz bracelets are really pretty. And they have little iridescent beads in there too. This is a really pretty piece. I love this. I'll definitely be taking off this little tie here. It is shedding a bunch of stuff, but cute. have another chunky stretch bracelet. No, no brands, a little bit tight. I'm trying, oh geez, I'm trying to pull. So this was interesting with all these colorful glass beads and then these wood pieces here, but it's broken. So this will have to go into a craft lot and somebody can make something awesome with all these pieces because there's some really neat pieces in here. All right, I've got stuff flying everywhere. This is a pin and a hair tie, it looks like. Silver flower, I don't know about that. That'll probably go into a craft lot as well. Little rhinestone bracelet. So I'm trying something different this video. I have a poster board down here. It kind of makes, it's a little noisier than my tablecloth, but the tablecloths get so dirty. These This jewelry is so dirty. 
I wanted something that um, was easy to clean. And so I'm trying this. You guys can let me know if the sound annoys you. But this is a definitely a vintage piece with these frosted acrylic pieces and these faceted acrylic beads. It's long with gold pieces in there. No marks, but there's that. We've got some faux snake skin, lots of rhinestone bling on the back, and it's a hinged bangle bracelet. No maker's marks on this one, but it is in really good condition. So I'll probably sell that one. Okay, I see two of these. Hmm. Pretty color on these. Let me see. I think these are glass really pretty glass pieces on here but um, I'm not the um, elastic is looking kind of dark and it's a little tight so it's probably not something I'm going to be selling but hopefully somebody could do something with those pieces those are really awesome Wait, what's this? Okay. Hattie Carnegie. Okay, this is a vintage tag. And Haiti or Hattie, I'm not sure quite how to pronounce it, but she is a vintage designer and this is a brooch and a pendant i'm not seeing any marks on here that says her name on it hmm what do you guys think it doesn't look like it was ever worn this chain it looks brand new this has enamel paint So, I don't know. I don't know if this is one of her pieces. Couture design. It's pretty cool. I'll have to look that up. This one necklace is causing some trouble. This one. All right, let's just get this out of the way. It's a simple gold tone chain, really long with this pendant down at the bottom. It's tangling in everything and causing some trouble. Okay, this is a long necklace. So this definitely has a vintage style to it as well with these silk wrapped beads and these pieces here. These cloisonne beads are gorgeous. And then these big green ones feel like acrylic. No marks on it, but this is pretty cool. This is original and neat. There's a lot of different things going on in there. I love those cloisonne beads. 
So yeah, that's awesome. We've got a cute cat brooch, Siamese cat, with a rhinestone collar necklace on her. A matte brushed gold. Oh, and there is a mark. Covered up my loop. Okay. What does that say? A AJC? Oh goodness, it's so muted. It looks like AJC, but I'm not sure, and if I can't see it through the loop, then you guys probably aren't gonna be able to see it either. I will have to research this mark and see what I can come up with, but this is super cute. Really cute. All right, looks like we have Malachite. I just got that necklace in my last, but the the stone looks really cool, but the setting looks a little cheap. I'm seeing some like glue and um, yeah, I'm not crazy about the setting of this ring, but the stone is pretty cool. I might be able to get that, the glue that I can see here off. It's pretty. <laughs> this board is so loud, I'm not used to it. Um. This is really pretty. I love the opaly crystals and there is some fading though on the back of this chain and there is no mark on it, but really pretty stones in this necklace. I'll have to think about what I'm gonna do with this though. Gorgeous pieces. It's like a bunch of little discs. It makes a solid looking form on this necklace, but it's a bunch of tiny little discs. No marks. A watermelon earring. Put that aside. We've got a very heavy bracelet with enamel. Gold tone looks nice. It sounds like springs. It sounds like it's on springs. Oh my goodness. That's YSL. And I don't know if I'm going to say this right. It's either Yves Saint Laurent, Yves Saint Laurent. I'm not sure, but this is awesome. I definitely know that is a high end designer. And this piece to me looks vintage the way it's set in these springs. Let's see if you guys can hear it. Do you see them? It's all these panels. This is really cool. I am excited about this. I have a feeling that this is gonna be um, worth a nice amount. 
And so yeah, I'm gonna have to look this up, but this is gorgeous and I can tell it is heavy and it is made well. It's awesome. Wow, I don't would have never expected to get a piece like this out of a Goodwill blue box. That's probably my best find in a Goodwill blue box to this day. We've got a ring. It's open here at the back and it is a little little out of shape. Really pretty detail on this band and gorgeous crystals. Definite statement ring. Beautiful. Oh, we got another, a little butterfly. This one is adjustable. Did that say something? No. It's a cute little fashion ring. Got some white hoops. We've got some faux stretch pearls. Some bangles. Okay. At first I was thinking this is the one that would go on your finger and then the bracelet, but it looks kind of long. I'm thinking this might be a foot one. Yeah. I'm thinking this wraps around the ankle and then this goes around the toe. Yeah, it would be way too long for the hand. So there's that. got the ribbon necklace J crew J crew necklace with gray faux pearls the gold tone is in really good condition on this necklace and the ribbon looks to be in really good condition too like there's not I'm not seeing any signs of wear on this one Really pretty. And all these pieces fall down. Gorgeous. Okay, this cute starfish says coach. So I'm trying to figure out if this is a pendant or if this was attached to a purse. There's the coach symbol and this feels nice. I definitely feel like this is a, a real coach piece, but maybe it was at one point attached to a purse or a necklace, I don't know. I will have to look up Coach Starfish and see what I can find because I've never seen this. So maybe somebody that is familiar with Coach might know and you can let me know. That'd be awesome. Oh, it looks like, looks like we have another one. These necklaces. Yep. J. Crew. This one is in natural beige colors, ivory and beige. Pretty nice. Like the other one, this one, the gold tone is in really good condition. And this ribbon is in really good condition too. We 
got some faux pearls in this lot. Three strands, different color faux pearls. That is how it goes. We've got an ivory and a champagne color and like a pink, pink color. Toggle class up here is in excellent condition, but there are no makers on it. Really classy looking piece. Feels very nice. Nice, nicely made on that one. I am seeing a pair on these. Oops, except for this one's stuck. So this, I believe, is the Day of the Dead celebration um this one says garcia goldie maybe her name is goldie garcia maybe that is the designer i will look that up they're like bottle caps and filled with some type of resin or acrylic or something cute 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 we got a cheapy little stretch bracelet feels very light and inexpensive just a fashion acrylic wait is this acrylic yes black beads Well, that's kind of interesting. There is some fading underneath here. I was gonna say it's different, kind of cool with these leaves, the two finger. I don't know, I'd feel like it feels restricting. I don't like that at all. I wanna spread my fingers and I can't, but there is that. Pink rhinestone stretch. Some plain single earrings that we will save. Now, this is just a fashion piece with a single red stone here. I do think I see. Oops. These look like they might go with it. I don't know. These are cute. Silver tone hoops with these red. Feels heavy. They, I, they feel like glass. Might be a set. Hmm. Well, this is pretty small to be a um, necklace, so I'm thinking this might be some type of prayer beads. But I don't know what is the cross with the circle. I don't know. And these definitely look like some type of nut. And maybe you guys might know what this is but my thoughts are this is some type of prayer prayer rosary or necklace or something like that because they are in sections so maybe you guys can let me know I'm not 100% on that one all right we're starting to get down to this is a really nice cuff bracelet in really good condition, this brushed gold look. Great condition on this one. I didn't see any maker's marks on that. I actually think I have this bracelet listed and it's been listed for a while and it hasn't sold. so. I'll probably put this one in a lot, but it's heavy. 
It is heavy, it feels nice, and it, it's like an antiqued gold tone, but I already have one listed, so I'll probably lock this one up in a mystery box or something. All right, so we're down to the little bits again. Oops, what's this? We got a big old acrylic ring. Big, huge, royal blue stone adjustable we got a bangle bracelet here black and gold tone the gold tone is fading a bit Chunky hollow gold hoops. This is a cute little long gold necklace. There is some fading and there are no marks on it. So this will probably go into a lot. This is a BR, Banana Republic. And it's in a bit of a knot. All right, and I see some fading. This is probably not, this is probably something I'll stick into a craft lot. Okay, these don't look to be in the best of shape. What does this say? R-A? R-A, but there's like verdigree or something going on with these. So, there's that. Oh, here's the other one of these earrings. Those are kind of cool looking. Those are different. Kind of reminds me of an anthropology style. Agatha? It looks like just the pendant in it is a little heart locket pendant and the brand is Agatha. I don't know of an Agatha. Those costume earrings. Ooh, this came off of something. Piece to something. Little pearl and rhinestone studs. up there. We already looked at those. Ooh, look at this. Total Egyptian revival earrings with this open basket type. A little bit bent on that, but there's only one of those. Bummer. Bummer on that. One of the, one flower, one watermelon. That one was really cool. I was hoping to see the other one of those, but no. What is this? This looks like a perfume bottle. It's like a perfume bottle um, pendant. I don't want to sniff it. That's a cool clip on. All right, guys. Wait, what are these ones? What is that saying? Made Austria. That's what that says. Made Austria. Not made in Austria. Made Austria. Oh, and that's an MMA. Bummer. 
Metropolitan Museum of Art. Their um, jewelry, I have sold a couple of their pieces and both went for a really good amount. So I'm bummed about that earring. Only one of those. And that is it, guys. That is it for this lot. I'm going to go ahead, pull back my favorites in this video, and then get to the giveaway. All right, guys, here it is. Here are my favorites from this lot. Definitely one of the better Goodwill blue boxes I have ever opened and by far the best piece I have ever gotten out of a Goodwill blue box. I have not looked this up yet, um, but I'm super excited about finding a YSL piece and I'm thinking it's going to be good. So I'm excited about that. We got a couple J Crew pieces, this Coach Starfish that I don't know what it came from, but some really cool vintage pieces here along with this Hattie Carnegie um, piece here. The rose quartz bracelets, the rings, and the cute little cat brooch. So definitely some great stuff in this box. I am happy with this Goodwill Blue box and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And now I'm going to go ahead and do our second December giveaway. Okay, here is my second December giveaway. The theme is Brighton. And in this giveaway is, we have a cute Brighton, it's a little purse charm. You could click clip it onto your purse and it gives it this cute little decoration. It's like a little scarf. Mod stripe and it, this retailed for $40. And it has the little Brighton heart there. Super cute, add it to give it a little, and it says Brighton. Add a little something to your purse. And then we have this necklace, brand new. Everything is brand new with tags in this lot. This is art and three ring necklace and this retailed for $60. And the little charms say live, laugh, love, freedom, and dream. And they have little crystals and it is a gold tone and a silver tone on those charms. And then we have a little Brighton crossbody purse. It might not fit in this frame. It's a glitter and go pouch. And then it says love here and then Brighton down there. And it has little gems in the back. Hold on, let me pull the camera out a little bit. Cute little crossbody pouch purse. Oops, all right. And it has this little leather, the long strap so that it could fit across your body. And then let's look on the inside. Has cute little black hearts, a little zipper, one little zipper, and then the main pouch. So this is, oh, and then it's just a, this is just a little store, a cute little store bag. So that if you wanted to give it as a gift, you have the cute little Brighton store bag. So this is our second giveaway. Um, the only rules to my giveaway is that you are a subscriber. This is a thank you to them and that you comment in the comment section that you would like to be a part of this giveaway. Um, so if you would like to be a part of this drawing, leave me a comment and let me know and I will add you to the drawing. I'm going to let this run for about 48 hours and then I'm going to draw a name. I'm going to try to get this to you in time for Christmas, but it is a possibility that it won't make it there. I'm trying. That's why I'm only doing 48 hours to let this go and I will announce who won this and get it out right away. Carol, yours is already on its way. That was the Christmas giveaway, the little Christmas goodies. And yes, thank you guys for watching. And 
I will let you know who wins this drawing in 48 hours from when this video posts. Bye guys.